ladies and gentlemen, hi there, this is Toby Charles saying welcome to the land of the rising sun, to be more exact, to the Olympic Stadium in Tokyo for the World Cup Soccer Final, the Cup Championship Final between Nottingham Forest, the champions of Europe, and Nacional Montevideo, the champions of South America. Yes, the European South American Cup, that's the name of the game today, on soccer made in Germany. And it's Nottingham Forest playing in their traditional red strip from right to left in possession at the moment. The two teams, Nottingham playing with English international Peter Shilton in goal. And then the back four of number two, Viv Anderson, number 15, Stuart Gray, now on the programme it's got number 13, but in actual fact he's wearing the number 15 shirt. And then the two central defenders, Larry Lloyd number 5, and the captain Kenny Burns number 6. Three players in midfield, those three are Frankie Gray, who's moved up from the left back position, the Scottish international wearing the number 3 shirt. Martin O'Neill number 7, and Raimondo Ponte, the Swiss international number 8. Front runners, English international Trevor Francis, Scottish international John Robertson, Trevor Francis number nine, John Robertson number 11, and wearing the number 10 shirt is Ian Wallace. Now, on my program, this must be a Japanese mistake, I've got W. Allen, but in actual fact, it is Ian Wallace, the red headed player wearing the number 10 shirt. Nacional Montevideo with four. Uh, Uruguayan internationals in their ranks. They've got Rodolfo Rodriguez in goal. Now, Rodriguez was the captain of the Uruguayan national team. That's Stuart Gray, by the way, on the ball there. Let's just watch this attack. A good chance here for Nottingham. That's Anderson. English international fullback Viv Anderson there, coming in with a left footed shot. But as you saw, blazed over the top. And that's Rodriguez, who was captain of Uruguay in the uh, Gold Cup tournament earlier this year in Montevideo. The back four for Nacional, Jose Moreira, number two, Blanco, number three, Enriquez, number four, Gonzalez, number five. All the chance here, coming in there was Victorino, very quickly on that ball, and Peter Shilton doing well. In midfield for Nacional, We've got Mila. Now, on the programme, he's wearing the number 8 shirt, but in actual fact, on the pitch, he's wearing the number 16 shirt. And then we've got the captain, Esparago, number 6. That's Francis. Mr. Abraham Klein, blowing the whistle there. Trevor Francis, fine player, cost Nottingham Forest over a million pounds sterling. So back to the Nacional team. As I was saying in midfield, Mila with the number 16, Esparago wearing the number 6 shirt, the captain, and Luzarado, number 10. Up front, Pica number 7. Number 9 is Victorino, that great Uruguayan centre forward who played so well in the Gold Cup tournament in Montevideo. Got a goal in the final, of course, against Brazil. And number 11, the veteran Julio Cesar Morales. 36 years of age, also played, of course, in the Gold Cup tournament. So all the makings of a great game here. As I was saying, the referee, Abraham Klein, or Abraham Klein, as you like to call him, from Israel. With John Robertson. But the corner out of that. The Olympic Stadium here in Tokyo, packed almost to capacity. Great crowd of about 65, almost 70,000. Difficult to say at the moment. But you can see, beautiful weather. That's O'Neill. Martin O'Neill there, uh, getting in the shot. Ball though, screwing off the uh, outside of his right foot, as you can see now, in this actual replay. Should have done more with that, he had time, he had room. Rodriguez.
Forest, certainly on top at the moment. John Robertson. wondering why this game is being played in Tokyo as it's a European South American Cup uh, final well the answer is no other country has offered to sponsor this match but then the leading Japanese company came up with the necessary cash and so Nacional and Nottingham Forest have made their way here to Tokyo for this game Nottingham Forest, in fact, that came in for quite a bit of criticism in the English press. But you can imagine that foul will bring uh, quite a bit of criticism from the referee. That foul by Espalago on uh, Trevor Francis. Got a boot in the stomach here. Now watch it. Francis turning, and there goes the boot. Dangerous play there by Espalago. at the moment this was to be expected though this early onslaught by the English team who became European champions by defeating Hamburg of West Germany in the final by one goal to nil that goal by the way was scored by John Robertson can he do the same today game actually against Italy Robertson O'Neill that's offside it's going to be a free kick for Nacional centre-back, ex-English international. In fact, they're practically all past or present internationals in this Nottingham Forest team. there on my monitor I don't know whether it was just here in the stadium or whether you had the same as well because uh, don't forget of course this game is coming to you via satellite all the way from Tokyo so it's understandable that uh, we may get a few technical problems now and again that's Bika that's Moreira Yes! 
Valdemar Victorino has made it 1-0 for Nacional, and we know that pose, don't we? We saw it so often during the Gold Cup tournament in Montevideo. So against all the run of play, Nacional, Montevideo, going to the lead against Nottingham Forest. The cross from Moreira. Now look at this terrible mistake there by Larry Lloyd. Victorino doesn't miss chances like that. Larry Lloyd completely missing the ball, looking so clumsy. No chance, of course, at all for Peter Shelton. There's the score, Nottingham now, Nottingham now one. Valdemar Victorino, number nine, the score. announcement in two languages, Japanese, and for those who don't understand, in English as well. The Nathanael team bench, getting rather excited, quite understandably, who can blame them? That was Kenny Burns, and it wasn't far off target. Kenny Burns, the Nottingham captain. Scottish International, of course. And Jose Moreira, the number two, back to his keeper, Rodriguez. These two, of course, know each other so well, not only from the club team, but also from the Uruguayan national team. covering well. Larry Lloyd on the ball there, who made that terrible mistake. Lloyd, a good solid centre-back, good in the air, but not good when he's turned. In the last 12 months, he's slowed down considerably. He's OK as long as players don't push the ball past him and make him turn. Trevor Francis, what a fine player he is, and a chance there, that was Ian Wallace. Red-headed Ian Wallace, after this cross from Francis, now that should have been in. Against a team like Nacional, you just can't afford to miss chances like that. by the Nottingham defence, all at sixes and sevens, all getting in each other's way. And I think it was because Victorino was offside. So the goal not given. The score remains. Nottingham nil, Nacional one. But this Nottingham defence looking so shaky under pressure. Francis. Trevor Francis coming in for a lot of stick from this national defence. There's that foul again. No chance at all of getting to the ball. Frankie Gray. John Robertson, I think carrying a few pounds too many around the midriff. He's a very deceptive player, John Robertson. He doesn't look as if he could play football, play soccer. But he certainly can. Close ball control, very difficult to get off the ball. Moreira. 
Number four there, that's the centre back. And then he goes. And there's the Nottingham Forest team bench. I imagine they're not too happy at the moment. They had all the play in the opening ten minutes. And then out of the blue, Nafti now Montevideo took the lead. But that soccer field so often happens. One team does all the attacking. The players don't take their chances. And then the opposition break away and get a goal. There's Brian Clough, the Nottingham Forest manager. The man who took Nottingham Forest in England from the second division straight up to the top of the first division. And then also the victory in the European Cup, twice in succession, beating Malmö of Sweden and then Hamburg of West Germany. Can they win this European South American Cup as well? To add to all those trophies. This is good stuff by Nottingham, but that was terrible. It wasn't a foul. It's going to be a goal kick. But what a dangerous player this man Victorino is. So quick, so sharp. by Viv Anderson, heading the ball away from the goal, out to the touchline, he knows that if it's out there, it can't be in the back of the net. Gonzalez with the throw in. That wasn't a bad effort actually. It was the number 16, Mila. through a lot of work in midfield, Martin O'Neill. And there's Viv Anderson. Well, it's certainly Nottingham applying most of the pressure. But at the moment, the final pass still going astray. Free kick given against Ian Wallace. in the past this competition has been played on a home and away basis that is a two-leg final and they've often been stormy events as you can see 20 minutes played in this first half the score Nottingham Forest nil Nacional Montevideo one I 
was very impressed with him during the Gold Cup tournament in Uruguay. And he certainly hasn't lost any of his old sharpness, quickness in the box in front of goal. Robertson. Oh, what a bad one, John. Moreira. Larry Lloyd. Peter Shilton, the England goalkeeper. Robertson. Again, that final pass going astray. Overhead, you can probably hear it in the background. We've got a helicopter. I think some uh, helicopter pilots getting a free view of the game. He's been up there all the time. But John Robertson uh, rather annoyed about that tackle. <laughs> And please don't ask me to translate this. Maybe it was saying that uh, Saki will be served at half time. Francis under pressure. Now look at this. All the goal to aim at. Rodriguez taking his time. Not much longer to go to half time. the other way Peter Taylor and Brian Clough wonder what they're thinking what Cluffy will tell his uh, his players at half time which must be any moment now
the translation, but I have difficulty understanding that as well. Something about you shouldn't go out of the ground. Well, I presume these players can go into the locker rooms at half time as Trevor Francis goes down again. said there. We probably couldn't broadcast it. Whether there's something wrong with my watch or I or with the uh, referees, Mr. Klein, because I make it that the 45 minutes are over. Nacional Montevideo leading Nottingham Forest by a goal to nil. A goal coming up to 10 minutes. Scored by Victorino. Kenny Burns with the free kick. And there goes the whistle for half time. And coming up now, the Sabudio Soccer Clinic with Kyle Roke Jr. Bringing you tips and highlights that you certainly won't want to miss. I'm Kyle Rowe, Jr., and I'm very pleased to have been asked to present this series of clinics that we hope will help you enjoy and understand soccer even more. So whether you're a player, a coach, an administrator, or just an interested parent, we're glad you're with us, and particularly if you're a youth coach, we hope you'll make plans for your whole team to join us each week for a few minutes of entertainment and instruction. Now, in today's clinic, we're going to talk about the wall pass. Now, this doesn't mean to just literally throw the ball against a wall, but rather to a teammate who then returns the pass as you run past your defender. As we see in this highlight, it's a very effective way to use teamwork to get down the field. But the skill to execute the wall pass doesn't just happen by chance. It takes constant practice. Now here's a progressive drill that you can do. First, set up a real wall and a cone or other obstacle as a defender. Then, add a real defender. And finally, a real teammate to make the return pass. Or, here's another way to develop the wall pass rhythm. Now, let's look at a real game situation using the wall pass to set up a shot. The player without the ball must move to a good supporting position to receive the initial pass. The return pass beats the defender to allow for a shot. One more time, and we'll see the importance of making a firm pass that is easily returnable. Now, in just a moment, we'll take a look at how the pros put this tactic into play, but if I can borrow the field for a minute, let's take a look at the classic wall pass setup. A player with the ball is confronted by a defender. At this point, the attacker can either attempt to dribble around the defender or make a wall pass, passing the ball to his teammate, who then returns the pass behind the defender. Now let's watch the pro show us once again how it's done. The advantage of the wall pass is that it's easier to run past a defender than dribble past one. So look for the wall pass and try it. And whether you practice in your own backyard with friends or with a whole team, remember, work hard, but enjoy your soccer. Well, we hope that you've enjoyed today's Sabudio Soccer Clinic, and remember you can follow our mini-clinic series and receive information on additional drills and tips through the Globe Kicker.
thanks a lot, Kyle Rowe Jr. And I wonder if in the second half here in Tokyo, we're going to see a few examples of the wall pass. I'm sure we are. This Trevor Francis, he knows how to use it. The wall pass, also known, of course, as the one-two. And Victorino, he can use it as well. He can finish it off as well. And away we go for the start of the second half of this European South American Cup final between Nottingham Forest, the champions of Europe, and Nacional Montevideo, the champions of South America. Don't forget, Nacional leading by a goal to nil, scored after only 10 minutes against the run of play by Valdemar Victorino. As far as I can see, no changes. Two teams the same that went into the locker rooms at half time. Brian Clough actually said to his players at, uh, at the interval. I'm sure he'll want to tighten up that defence, which looked very shaky under pressure. There's Brian Clough. <laughs> Offside for Kenny Burns there. <laughs> Almost telling the linesman to put his flag up. Swiss International. And I think that's going to be a corner. As Morale is back there helping out in defence. Number 11. He certainly didn't take any chances there. certainly as you can see here the most dangerous forward in the Nottingham team very little time but still getting in the shot players who's come up through the juniors Jose Moreira over there. And again, the Nacional team bench. They must be pretty happy the way things have gone so far. They've soaked up all the Nottingham pressure. And they've come back with their own very dangerous counter-attacks.
Miss Ponte, unable to control the ball. Well, as you can see, five minutes of this second half played. No change in the scoreline. Nottingham Forest nil, Nacional Montevideo one. And there's the goal scorer, Victorino. As we saw in the Gold Cup tournament earlier in the year, Rodriguez, such a capable goalkeeper. Oh, what a bad back pass that was. It's not a goal, though. You can't see it, but the linesman had his flag up. Another terrible mistake. Now watch this. Larry Lloyd bundling about everywhere. The back pass from Frankie Gray straight to Victorino. The ball's in the net. But Victorino was in an offside position, even though he wasn't interfering with the play, not really. Still, the linesman decided that he was. So it's no goal. And you could see there how slow Larry Lloyd has become. Peter Shilton having to come all the way off his line. There's Lloyd. I think Lloyd's days with Nottingham Forest in the first division in England are numbered. It's Kenny Burns, whose job it is actually as a sweeper to cover up behind Lloyd. Stuart Gray. Taking his time, keeping it cool, keeping it calm. replay of that obviously there's a camera in that helicopter up there so they're not getting a free view after all John Robertson it wasn't fired in that shot Shield 
and taking no chances. He knows how slow Larry Lloyd has become. Anderson. There's the wall pass. Again. Not coming off. The return pass not quite finding its man. The foul by Kenny Burns. But all in all, it's been a pretty fair match, uh, especially when you consider what's happened in the past. As I was saying earlier, these finals have often been very stormy affairs, especially the return games in South America. I can remember once when... Uh, Celtic Glasgow were playing in the final and I think all in all about seven players were sent off by the referee I think possibly too that's one of the reasons because of all the trouble that we've had in the past or a lot of trouble that we've had in the past one of the reasons why this game is being played in a neutral country that's Morales in front of a neutral crowd We know, of course, that the South Americans can get very emotional, especially when they're playing in front of their own fans. Vika. And, of course, the South Americans and the Europeans have two completely different styles of play which don't always mix. But so far in this game, no real brutal fouls. Mila. We haven't seen too much of him in this match. It's Gonzalez who put in that cross. Just to remind you that you're watching Soccer made in Germany, coming to you today from the Olympic Stadium in Tokyo. The scene of the European South American Soccer Cup final between Nottingham Forest of England, Nacional Montevideo of Uruguay. The score, Nottingham Forest nil, Nacional one. And next week on Soccer Made in Germany, the UEFA Cup final. Let's watch this now. Is it going to be? No! Martin O'Neill couldn't get the ball into the net. There's O'Neill. A good save, actually, by Rodriguez. And there you can see... Peter Ward coming. It must be now. No. Oh, 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 oh. How lucky can you get? I'm sure Rodriguez didn't see that ball. He just stuck a leg in hope. What's this now? There's the shot. And I think the ball hit Rodriguez's leg, not the other way around. Look, Victorino down there. I think he's dramatizing things a little. It was a foul, but uh, Victorino looking up to see where the ball's gone, and then he decides that uh, he's half dead. Wasted a few minutes, so now we can get on with the game. 
He's a great player and also a great actor, Victorino. So, Nottingham Forest have drawn on a substitute. Peter Ward, their new signing from Brighton, has come on wearing the number 12 shirt. Raimondo Ponte has gone off. So, Brian Cup, quite sensibly, bringing on Another striker for a midfield player. Rodriguez had it covered. Burns getting in the tackle just at the last moment. And Victorino, <laughs> I think he got smacked on the back of the head there. I'm sure though it was accidental, but Victorino causing this Nottingham defence so many problems because he's so quick. Well, as you can see, five minutes to play. Can Nottingham do it? Can they get the equaliser? Nassi now won't be in any hurry to take this free kick. There's a foul by Larry Lloyd. And another one from Anderson. Well, not even the Japanese like this. They're neutral supporters, of course. They want to see attacking soccer. And in this match, it's Nottingham who've done most of the attacking, but it's Nacional who've got the all-important goal. Morales. I'd like to know how many Nottingham and how many Nacional supporters there are among this huge crowd. Some of the Japanese fans waving Uruguayan flags and Union Jacks for, uh, for England. The 
Trevor Francis getting a counter out of that. And also getting himself a bit of a bump as well. The one two, that was the perfect example of the wall pass. Rodriguez, but the ball stays out in any way. It is a foul, of course. It's going to be a free kick. Stuart Gray with the corner. Big Larry Lloyd coming in there. I think Larry said, well, if I can't get the ball into the net, at least I'll put the goalkeeper in. Well, with the ball out of play, it gives me a chance to tell you what I started to tell you earlier. That next week on Soccer Made in Germany, you can see the second leg of the UEFA Cup final, that is the European Football Union Cup final, between two of the best teams in Europe. Alkmaar of Holland and Ipswich of England. So another great game to look forward to on your favorite soccer show, Soccer Made in Germany. You're now watching the closing stages of the European South American Cup final. I thought for a moment, Nottingham Forest were gonna get the equalizer. And I think probably the officials on the Uruguay, uh, Uruguayan team bench thought so as well. Trevor Francis claiming there that he was fouled. Mr. Klein says, no, you weren't, play on. Stuart Gray. Down goes Victorino. Signs there that it's going to be all over any moment now. In fact, I make it that we're now into injury time and we haven't had much of that. Offside, Nottingham defence moving upfield very quickly. 